Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking about Deep Canvas, which is something you probably never heard of, but without it, you wouldn't have the Tarzan, the Treasure Planet, and some of the future films that you've come to know that would be totally different, and this is why. Deep Canvas is a computer tool that was developed by Tarzan art director Dan St. Pierre because he was fed up of the limitations that his art form gave him. And what Deep Canvas did is that it allowed artists to make 3D objects that could then be painted by artists and that characters could interact with in the films. It basically helps to give the scene more of a depth. And they did this after some of the staff went on a trip to Africa in 1996 and they saw how tactile the environment was. They really wanted the characters to interact with the environment and be able to touch it and walk in it and all that sort of stuff. So how does this all work? Well at first, mostly grey, cylindrical, boring looking shapes are made, with these shapes making up the trees and some of the other objects in films like Tarzan. And once all of that is made, a camera path is determined by the directors because at this point the camera can move freely around the environment. And at this point, once the camera path is determined, the character animators get involved and start animating the character frame by frame. This is a very hard job because they also have to take into account perspective and make sure that it actually looks like the character is touching the environment and is walking on it or just interacting with it in general. So after the character is ready and Tarzan is skating on them trees, it's time to make the trees look less boring. So now the background painters take over and they start drawing over these shapes that were made in 3D to make them look like they're actual painted objects. They do this digitally on a drawing tablet that simulates brush strokes so the end result is going to look like it was actually made by brush. But obviously drawing in 3D is a lot different to drawing in 2D, so it did have a bit of a learning curve. But according to Doug Ball, who is the head of backgrounds for Tarzan, the software can be learnt within a few weeks and can be mastered within that time. And an advantage of using a computer is that brush strokes can actually be remembered and can be copied and pasted to different parts of the object, or to different objects entirely to save on time. And at this stage, they also add in some additional elements such as moths and, not moths, such as moss and leaves and other things like that. And they keep doing tests, which are basically when they render out the video or make it so that you can just watch it as a video. And they just add to it over time and see their progress as they go along. So they keep making changes and making improvements and filling in gaps here and there until they're happy with the result and they add in the background layer that goes at the back. And obviously the background layer can be either hand-drawn or done digitally. It doesn't really matter because it is the same sort of background that you'd get in previous films. And for Tarzan, there were some other things that weren't done digitally too. For example, the lighting and the shadows were all done um, by hand. And the overlaying of plants over the character's feet were also done by hand too. But the disadvantages of Deep Canvas at the time was that the scenes couldn't be reused and they couldn't really be modified that much. The camera angle couldn't be changed or anything like that. They also couldn't be relit, so if the same scene happened at a different time of the day, they couldn't use the same scene again, they just have to redo it again. Although, by the time Treasure Planet came along, they developed virtual sets that built on top of Deep Canvas, but it took away some of its disadvantages. So with virtual sets, a 360 degree full environment was created that could then be reused again and again and could be relit and just modified as the directors wanted. And with this, all of the scene was actually created before the camera movement was done. So there can be a whole lot of different scenes that use different parts of the virtual set with its own camera because you can have different camera angles or have different scenes where the camera's in different places. And they definitely did take advantage of that because in Tarzan, they only used deep canvas for around 10 minutes of the 88 minute runtime, but in Treasure Planet they used it for 75% of the scenes. They didn't use virtual sets for all of that, but they did use Deep Canvas in some way for 75% of the film. And yeah, that's what Deep Canvas is and what virtual sets are that build on top of Deep Canvas. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a like, be sure to subscribe to see more animation discussion videos like this one, and yeah, I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.